in this visit, I'll go over three blood tests that evaluate kidney function. The kidney's function is to rid the blood of waste chemicals generated by the body's metabolism. Kidney function is decreased when there is intrinsic kidney damage, pre-renal azotemia, meaning decreased blood flow to the kidneys, and post-renal azotemia, meaning blockage of the urinary drainage system of the kidneys. Kidney function is measured by serum creatinine, BUN, blood urea nitrogen, and the BUN to creatinine ratio. These blood tests are part of the comprehensive metabolic profile, a panel of blood tests. Other tests to evaluate the kidneys include urinalysis, imaging of the kidneys, 24-hour urine collection for creatinine clearance, and various nuclear medicine scans of the kidneys. The normal creatinine range is approximately 0.7 to 1.5 milligrams per deciliter. As kidney function declines, the creatinine level increases, but the serum creatinine is not sensitive for early kidney damage. That's because the serum creatinine does not become abnormal until approximately 50% of kidney function is lost. A normal serum creatinine in pregnant women is much lower than in non-pregnant women, and a value greater than 0.8 milligrams per deciliter is abnormal in a pregnant woman and requires further evaluation. The serum creatinine may be decreased in reduced muscle mass as occurs with starvation. Some medicines can elevate the serum creatinine without actually affecting the ability to function. These include trimethoprim, which is an antibiotic, and cimetidine, trade name Tagamet, which is an acid blocker. The serum creatinine level can be increased in hypothyroidism, underactive thyroid, and decreased in overactive thyroid, hyperthyroidism. Normal BUN is approximately 5 to 26 milligrams per deciliter. The blood urea nitrogen is decreased in fluid overload, malnutrition, severe liver disease, and the syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone, SIADH. SIADH is a hormone problem where the body holds on to more fluid than it needs. The BUN is increased in intrinsic kidney dysfunction. It is also increased in prerenal azotemia, which is decreased kidney function due to decreased blood flow to the kidneys. Examples include congestive heart failure, shock, and vomiting and diarrhea with dehydration. The blood urea nitrogen is also increased in post-renal azotemia, which is decreased kidney function from blockage of the ureters or bladder. Examples include bilateral ureteral obstruction, by bladder obstruction, and bladder dysfunction from nerve damage. Examples include multiple sclerosis, diabetes, and spinal cord injury. The BUN to creatinine ratio is normally between 10 and 20. It can be increased in heart failure, blood loss, dehydration, salt depletion, and GI bleeding. The BUN to creatinine ratio can be decreased in decreased urea synthesis, severe liver disease, SIADH, the syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone, in pregnancy, and in rhabdomyolysis. Rhabdomyolysis means death of skeletal muscle with release of the contents of the muscle cells into the bloodstream. The glomerular filtration rate is the ability of the kidneys to filter blood. The normal GFR is approximately 125 in men and 100 in women. As the GFR goes down, meaning as kidney function goes down, the serum creatinine goes up. GFR can be estimated using the serum creatinine, age, and sex with the MDRD equation. The MDRD equation is available on the internet. 
just type MDRD equation into Google search. Laboratories now, though, customarily report an estimated MDRD equation when the serum creatinine is reported. Estimation of the GFR by the MDRD equation can be inaccurate in vegetarians, pregnancy, malnutrition, age greater than 70 years or less than 18 years, and when the MDRD equation is greater than 60. It can also be inaccurate in muscle disease. When a glomerular filtration rate more accurate than the MDRD equation is needed, we measure the 24-hour urine creatinine clearance. In a 24-hour urine creatinine clearance, the patient collects all the urine for 24 hours. The creatinine concentration in the urine and in the blood is used to calculate the glomerular filtration rate. We also need the total volume of urine collected for the calculation. Well, that's it for this visit. I hope you found it useful, and thank you for watching.